How to increase voicemail storage on Android and Google Pixel smartphones. If you have an Android or Google Pixel phone, at some point you may get an error that you are unable to load or save new voicemail messages. This error will occur if you have too many voicemails sto stored on your phone. This error will occur if you have too many voicemails stored on your phone. And possible, this only happens when using visual voicemail. I'm not 100% sure of the exact number, but I think it just lets you uh, keep about 20 voicemails on your phone. Since your Google Pixel or other Android phone likely has a lot of space for photos, and videos, you may be wondering why it can't store more voicemails. The answer is that nobody knows at this point. There must be a reason for this, but to this date there are, are no options to increase the amount of voicemails you can store on your phone. However, there are a few things you can do to back them up externally, so at least you don't miss any important messages. Now on my phone, if I have not backed up my voicemails and I have too many, it always gives me an error that uh, I cannot receive any new voicemails. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, I am a little curious what happens if I call my phone when I have too many voicemails. I don't know if it gives a uh, message to whoever's calling or not. I will try that in the future and I'll leave a comment on this video when I find out. Anyway, there are a number of ways you can back up your voicemails. And uh, the first one, uh, the easiest way is probably using Gmail. You can just email a voicemail file to yourself if you have a Gmail or other uh, email address. To back up using Gmail, you simply click on one of your voicemail messages, and then you click this little send to, uh, looks like a little paper airplane icon. Click that, then the next window will open. It'll look something like this, and then you simply click Gmail, and then another, the next screen will show the Compose, email window, enter the email address you want to send it to. You can send it to yourself or somebody else. And you can enter a subject and you can leave a little note in here or just leave it empty. And then all you have to do is just click the send button and then you will have a copy of that voicemail on that email address. Another option is to use uh, Google Drive. If you have that app installed on your phone, I think it comes by default, but not 100% sure. Just follow the same instructions as with Gmail. Click the little Send To after you select your voicemail message. Then you just click the Google Drive icon. And a little side note, uh, these voicemail files have a .amr file extension. And in case you're curious, uh, .amr stands for Adaptive Multi-Rate Audio Codec. So you go ahead and click the Google Drive button. And then it'll give you the option to enter a file name. And then you can choose the Google Drive account. If you have more than one, then click the Save button. Then it will be on your Google Drive that you can access on your phone or another computer. Another option is you can send uh, voicemail files via Bluetooth to your PC or Mac. Uh, this is a little more complicated. It's not too too bad, but I'm going to go ahead and leave a couple of extra tutorial links in the description of this video 
in case you get stuck. But you have to enable Bluetooth on the phone and the PC or the Mac that's going to receive the file. On Windows, there's a, you click the little Bluetooth icon in the bottom right corner. Then you can click this receive a file option. It'll say waiting for a connection. Uh, you got to make sure that your phone has Bluetooth turned on. And then go ahead and send the file from your phone. And if all goes well, you'll get the screen that'll say save the received file. Have the file name. And then you can choose where you want to save it. And you click finish. And then it will be on your computer. And other than these three techniques, there are also a wide variety of third-party apps you can use, including Dropbox, Evernote, uh, Todoist, uh, Notion. Uh, you can even use, uh, there's an app called Anchor.fm, which you can make podcasts with from your phone. So in theory, you could have a podcast that consists nothing but uh, just of voicemails if you wanted to, I suppose. And basically, if there's an app that uh, can receive the backup of a voicemail file, it should show up as an option in the apps list when you first start to share the file. And that about sums it up. Uh, brief overview. <clears throat> Basically, there's no built-in way to uh, increase the amount of storage space. So you kind of have to do this whole thing manually. Uh, simply delete voicemails if you want. If you don't need to back them up, that's the easiest way. Just keep deleting voicemails or back them up first, then delete them. And once you have backed up and deleted your voicemails, you should be able to receive new voicemails from other people or businesses. And that error message should go away. If you know of a better solution for managing your voicemail, on Android or Google Pixel, uh, feel free to leave a comment below and I will update this video in the uh, description to reflect whatever recommendations are in the comments. Thank you for watching and if this video was helpful to you, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more tutorials and other interesting videos on screencast how to